Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I'm continuing with the SharePoint Online series and in this video we'll learn about search in SharePoint Online. If you have not watched the previous videos, I would highly recommend to do so. So let's start. So search you will not find here. So you have to go to more features and here you will find the search. So this would be the search center. And from here you can manage search schema, manage search dictionaries, automatic pages, query suggestion settings and all the search related permissions you can do it here. So if you click on manage search schema, create and modify the search properties. So you have the scroll properties and manage properties. So this is similar to what we have in the on premises. So if you want any custom manage property, you can create it and then you can map that custom manage property with the crawl property. So I'll, these are the uh, automatic created managed property. So if you want to create one, I can click on this new manage property. And then I can give a property name. Suppose I give division. So and uh, there should not be any space between the property uh, like F division, uh, company division if you, if you want to write. So you, um, you cannot write like this. You cannot write like this. There should uh, you cannot write like this. There should not be any space between these. So company division, and then you have the option. You can provide the description also, and then you have the option of text. And yes, others are disabled. So I'll keep it text. Now, if you want it to be searchable, you can make it searchable. Queryable, retrievable. Now these are very similar to what we used to have in our on premises. Allow multiple values also. You can click, and these are grayed out, refinable. Even if it's written yes, yes, but if these are grayed out. You cannot do it. Alias you can put, and language and other things. And here you can add the mapping. So include content all call properties include content from the first call property. So whatever if you want to include all you can all or if the first you can do it that as well. So if you want to add you can add the mapping. So it will open. So it sometimes it takes some time, but yeah, it's now all got categories listed here. There is no scroll inside this, so this is there. Uh, the paging. So if you want, you can category one. These are there. You can filter it from here as well, or you can search it from here as well. So all categories, category one. There are these many things: people, office notes, SharePoint. If I filter the SharePoint, these are the properties through which you can map it. So in the people you can uh, suppose I want the division if I want to filter. So find. So there is no property such like that. So suppose I want to map the division with the with the location I uh, with the department I want to map. So let's see the department. OK, so this is there. I can click OK. And then we can see its department is there and then I click, click OK. So this uh, your managed property will be mapped with the department. So division managed property map with the department. Now this is ideally is wrong, but uh, for the demo purpose, I'm doing it. Now, if you want to search your uh, managed property, you can write D I V I S I O N division and then if you search it it should be there you see company division you've created queryable searchable it's not if you have ticked that it will be ticked here so if you want to edit it you can like query retrieval queryable allow multiple and if you click ok that would be ticked all the details of this is written here also so you can read it, it will, it's very uh, very self understood so division you can see multi query queryable retrieval so these are there 
So this is how crowd properties, all the call properties would be listed here. So it's very similar to how we do in our on premises. So we create manage property and then we map to the crowd property so that it appears in search and query and things like that. So it's very similar. You see, these are the crawl properties automatically created. So these are there. Now, if you want the query suggestions, if you go to the query suggestion settings, if you want so query suggestions, you can take it. If you don't want, you can untick it and always suggest now if you have some term, terms which you think that in your organizations people will search it like your organization name department names things like that so you can import uh, from the text you can create a text file and enter all those text enter enter and then you can import it so that would be in the query suggestion a few things you want that these should never be come in suggested like any abusive words languages you can list it list out here and then import it so that thing will never be suggested so this is there and then you can click on save settings so this is how you can configure this query suggestions then manage result source also now about the by default manage res result source data data source uh, is already the default sharepoint results so this is the by default one if you can if you need you can create your data source also new result data source and then you can give a name and then uh, from where you want local sharepoint remote sharepoint open search exchange and then it would be people search or partial this you can build it or you can leave it like that and then you can save it so and that way let me test data source one and then i'll keep it uh, sharepoint local and then this also i'll keep it as and then i'll keep it click save and then you can make that data source as a default also so now this is your custom data source and if you click on there you can deactivate set as default so that default when you set it will be ticked here so this is how I'm not making it default. So that's all. If you want to delete it, you can delete it from here also. So search, I think, is very similar to what we have in on premises for the classic version of it. So you can click on search and then uh, remove search result view usage. Now this gives you a usage report number of queries like now these are very self-explanatory so you can read it and these are the reports automatically given by your uh, sharepoint so that you can produce it if required in your organization so top queries by the day top queries by the month abundant queries by the day then these are the eight nine types of reports you can generate search reports you can generate from your admin center and then import search configuration crawl log permission everything is there you can explore it i'll not go in detail about all these things but if you need any specific uh if you need any tutorial on the specific part of the search because it's a big big topic and if i create a tutorial series you to be on the search but in this tutorial series, i'm just giving the overview of it so i am just leaving it here as well if you want any help you can comment i can make videos on that so that's all for now thank you so much for watching and please do like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much